is Midwinter on the Amiga. And this is a highly requested game. Uh, by, requested by Slenkar, Trusteft, Faulty Cog, and The Ungulable. And the game centers around Captain Stark, who is a member of the Judean People's Front. I mean, the, the People's Front of something, villages. Basically, he has to defend this, uh, or help organize the defense of this army, of this island, in the middle of an ice age, from an invading army. And the enemy are indicated by these uh, these crosses here. And you can see there's quite a concentration of them in the southeast. And my guys are indicated by these uh, these people icons. Like looks like the entrance to a toilet, but it's actually uh, indicators that my guys are around. So, and one of them looks quite nearby. See this this arrow here, not the arrow I'm moving, but the arrow that's not moving, is um, is me, Captain Stark. And you can see that there's a cross right on him because he's being attacked. Uh, you start the game off right. At the, uh, Right in the middle of things, and this settlement here, Cragfoot, has PC Wright on it, who is one of the people I need to recruit along with everyone else. Um, so, first thing I should do though is deal with uh, deal with the enemies who are in my vicinity. So we go to the decisions display, which is indicated by this thinking man with a question mark on his head. So, and our only real option is to snipe. And when you're lying face down in the cold, you need to act quick or your bollocks fall off. So, I've got to aim using this. And unfortunately, I seem to be right on a slope, which is not ideal because they can come right over that and trample over me. And it looks even a bit glitchy, like I'm right in the mountainside. So, what I'm going to do is do a bit of skiing to get to a better position. And I look so cool like that, don't I? Now, I need to get to the north, uh, not, uh, up north there, but uh, in order to get some speed up, I'm going to have to go downhill, which you can see by that in indicator at the top. So let's find an area slightly uh, open ground. <laughs> I'm really going fast. Oh, I'm being bombed. Okay, fine. Now, it's time to... Oh, it's not working. I'm pressing X and it's not letting me stop. Why not? Maybe it's because I'm in the middle of shit. Okay, well, this isn't what I planned to do, but... Oh, God. Oh, and there's the bombers. No! Okay, come on. I have grenades, but no use against a bomber, obviously. And I'm not sure why I can't go in exit action mode, because... Obviously, because I'm being bombed, I guess. So, maybe I need to get some distance, or just get to that settlement. Let's just try that. So yeah, you've got to lead this guerrilla force. You can't really attack the enemy directly. Shit! Oh, now I might be able to take out this snow buggy with a grenade. Not managed it before. Uh, I've had to actually practice this a bit because this is obviously quite a fairly complex game. Um, I tried before, and uh, oh, come on. Oh, this one button. There. No. Was that my grenade or or what? Maybe it was. Did I take out the enemy without even realising it? That would be good. Okay, now if I stop... Ah! Yes, there was me being stupid. The only reason I couldn't get out of action mode is because I wouldn't stop. <laughs> so, now let's go into snipe mode. Although, stupidly, I did the same thing again. I'm right on the edge of a thing. But the enemy is to my right, so... You see those little indicators on the bottom? They indicate where the enemy is. So, despite the fact this is rather choppy, and he's firing a missile at me. Oh, I got him, and then he got me. Oh. He asterisked me to death with those horrible lines of exploding nurse, nastiness. 
and I fell over in the snow looking pathetic. Oh, let's see, how injured am I? Oh, well, I look all right for a guy who's just been shot in the face <laughs> by a missile. So uh, let's try that again. Okay, now there's the enemy plane. Hopefully I'll be able to shoot it down because this is no ordinary rifle. This is some kind of super fucking badass motherfucker kind of rifle. Oh, but not if you miss. Oh, bomb me. Missed though. And there's also that buggy. Oh, there's the plane again. Can I shoot it? Damn it, I missed. It's really hard to aim with the choppiness like this. Damn it. Oh, that missile is coming for me. There's a plane swinging around. Oh, there's a snow buggy. Still a bit far. Ugh. Oh dear. Being bombed. And it's just missing me. Just barely. I don't think I can hit that from here. Where's that plane? Oh no, it's a missile. I'm never going to be able to shoot it down. Oh, these explosions don't have much... Uh, area of effect it seems because oh there's a plane come on I can do this I can do this I can do this damn it yes now that is one fucking powerful rifle you know <laughs> what is it like a rail gun perhaps <laughs> but it, the bullets don't look uh, any different <laughs> you wouldn't expect that kind of firepower out of anything other than a Tau cannon or something used to shoot down bosses in Half-Life or something. Now that thing is quite far away and I think I might have got rid of all the planes. So right now I'm going to try and ski to that settlement to the north. Now it looks like the enemy icon has disappeared so maybe I got a significant amount of them enough for it not to show up or something and it looks like at this place as well as people there's a garage indicated there and a highlight here which means I can get oh look no I was wrong there's the enemy but anyway I, if I can get there I can get a garage and that means I get a vehicle and that means I get missiles and that's cool so let's get a move on now I'm going the wrong way I've got some speed up so if I can hope that they're now, unfortunately, as you can see from the mini-map at the top, um, the the lighter shades of green indicates uh, that it's... Oh god, there's a plane. It indicates that it's uphill, so there's going to be nowhere to get there quickly. Maybe I should just try sniping down that plane, I'm not sure. But you see the, the red uh, man running with a bit of white appearing on him. That is, uh, oh god, these are close. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. <sighs> I think these are actually mortars. Um, and the plane makes a kind of noise when it's trying to bomb me. Now, yeah, the, the red man indicates muscle power, which is basically how, how much strength I have left before I collapse in exhaustion. And the um, little sort of spirit level indicator on the on the top right there indicates my turning direction. So it's not like in a normal first-person game where you bloody hell that missile just went straight past me, um, where you sort of just keep turning to turn. If you know what I mean. Once you've got it in, like got the mouse cursor over to the left, it will keep turning. So it's kind of it's kind of weird to anyone who's played a a more recent game. And the timer in there indicates that, well, it's seven hours since something, seven o'clock perhaps. But um, oh, coming up on the uh, settlement here, uh, it's basically sort of turn-based with real-time elements. So you, um, uh, there's that, there's that house. I wonder if I'm close enough yet. Uh, you sort of a, a turn elapses every two hours, at which point you. Uh, you synchronize watches with your 
with the uh, the rest of your team, and uh, and then you begin a new turn and perhaps control the other people. And I haven't actually got to that stage yet. Uh, okay, so let's stop. Exit action mode, and I can go in the buildings. And look, there is a guy indicated by this there in the police station. And I have played this before, but I haven't seen this part yet. Uh, I, I had to play a little to figure out what I was doing, because this is not the... Ah, here we go. Captain Stark explains about the invasion of the free villagers and asks for help in res resisting General Master's army. Well, he looks kind of happy, so... Uh, does it work? You can rely on me, replies, right? Sweet. I have... I. The revolution is growing! Now it's two versus ten thousand or something. Okay. So, now it looks like, uh, not entirely familiar with what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm selecting the leader, perhaps. Okay, um, yeah, because I can control one after another. Constable Homer Wright. And here's his skills. So, he's not as skillful as, uh, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. The head guy. <laughs> Honcho. Quiet and thoughtful man. Homer Wright is devoted to his wife and small daughter. His blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, he's loathed intensely by PC Jackson. And has three loyal friends. Okay. So, now I can act as him. Um, so, let's look at these other areas. Okay, synthesis plant. What's this? Area 7. What can I do here? Not a lot, I don't think. Okay. Um, move? No. Let's go to the garage. And here I can use a wolf, which is a snow buggy. And I can use this to visit wrath upon the enemy. If there were any about. I think there's that indicator up there indicates there's one to the left. And you scroll up to increase speed, which is really quite uh, fiddly. Uh, yeah, I haven't had much experience trying to fly up, pilot these, drive these even. Um, it is, once again, rather choppy. Oh, is that a slope? Oh god, I'm going right down a slope. I hope I don't crash this thing. Oh dear. There's a house right there. I don't want to crash into that. Now, I'm not sure if there'll be another... Wait! Come on. Oh, this is so dodgy. Okay. Oh, God. I'm being bombed. Quick. Increase speed. Oh, no! Oh. Well done, right? You're in it for five minutes, and you smashed it up. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I screwed up the... It's not my fault. I got bombed. Okay, let's try to repair it. Vehicle repaired. Good. That was easy. But I bet that took a lot of time. Okay, he's run out of time since it's gone past the check-in time. Um, so let's go back and select Captain Stark again. And he has a bit more time left. See, his, his personal time is 7.06. And this indicates that he needs to eat and rest. So let's have some nosh. Okay, he's noshed. And he's sitting there and... Uh, okay, now he can sleep for a bit until eight. Okay, so so now we synchronize watches and but and destroyed one enemy vehicle. Yay! Versus four thousand and sixty six. <laughs> okay, and these these are the heat mines. I have fourteen left, and and they have uh, none. That's weird. Okay, uh, basically, if we run out of heat mines, we lose. As simple as that. So, every turn is two hours. 